Today's focus is on creating your new reality. So we've talked a lot this year. I don't know why everything was capitals except the I just then. I don't know. Maybe because I'm talking to the little I in myself or you. I don't know why that happened. I finished, I finished writing that and I was like, why is it a small I? Um, but by creating our new reality so that we, we actually become so familiar uh, with that reality that, uh, that it, when it shows up, it's, it's, very, it's just very obvious. It's just, it's, uh, it's super confirming. And the reason why I'm talking about this today is uh, I had a beautiful experience on uh, my Monday uh, after the, the four day. And uh, a couple of attendees, a couple of students uh, had said, hey, Chris, come join this after party. Who was on that after party after the event? And so, so I, I jumped on and I got to talk to a lot of people and, and it was really beautiful. They were saying, hey, Chris, thank you so much. This is uh, uh the, this is this has really changed my life and, and this and this thing and it, it was really it was really nice and uh and i was sharing with my team yesterday i said like, oh guys it was really cool we had you know all these people on and they were they were talking about you know the change but but here's here's what was really interesting is i felt it it was so familiar to me it was it was so familiar like it wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, it was the first time I'd ever jumped on and met many people. And it was, it was, it was an overwhelming amount of people sharing gratitude. And here's what was so great. It was so familiar because every single day for the last few years, I have been stepping into the reality of changing people's lives and hearing them tell me about it. Does that make sense? It was so familiar. It wasn't abnormal at all. I was, I was on this call and I was going, oh, this is nice to experience this in the third dimension because I experience this every single day when I tune into the field. I was like, oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I don't have to actually do the meditation this time. It's actually here. Does that make sense? I, it, was, it was like, oh, I was like, wow. That's very cool. Isn't this nice to experience this again? I only experienced it a few hours ago in the morning. Does that make sense? Because I'd spent so long, I'd spent so long building that moment in my mind. True. I didn't know that it was going to be on a Zoom call. And whenever it was in my mind, it was always at a live event. I didn't know that, that this is how we were going to be doing it. But I was so in alignment. And for those of you who were there, uh, you would have seen me. I was, I was just quite, uh, you know, nearly stoic. I was just like, oh, thank you. This is so nice to be here. It's very nice. If you'd taken me back, uh, you know, five or, or, uh, or 10 years, if I'd had 100 people jump on Zoom and one by one thank me for how much I changed their life, I probably would have been a basket case. would have been bawling my eyes out. I'd be like, this is so amazing because it would have meant that I was more validated. Rather than I'd already built that, I was already in that moment so much that when this huge, amazing, overwhelming situation of amazing gratitude, amazing love, huge accomplishment, there's nothing, there's nothing better than really, 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 really helping someone else to live a life of their dreams. Does that make sense? There's, there's nothing better than that. And, and it was true. Isn't that true? And so, so here's, here's what I want everyone to take from this is you build your own reality in your mind so that when it shows up, you're so familiar with it. You're like, oh, cool. Here it is. You see? I was, I was sharing uh, with, uh, with my accountant yesterday, <laughs> and, and she might be listening. And, and, I, and I said to her uh, about, you know, it was, it was some goal or, or something. She goes, I can't even imagine that. And I was like, oh, just listen to what you just said. I can't even imagine that possibility. I'm like, oh, well, if you can't imagine it, if you're not even allowed to imagine it, if you're not even allowed to go there, it's never going to be allowed in this reality. True. It's never going to be allowed to be in this reality. So, so allowing yourself to build the reality up in your mind so much so that you already are it, that there's no resistance, that you're living it, that you're loving it, and that... You don't want to leave your meditation because it's just so good. And then taking the action 
in the real life reality to turn that thought into a thing. Whew, that's what we're doing here. So, so let's talk about this a bit. Let's talk about how do we build up this, this reality? How do we actually make it happen? So to build up your reality, it starts out at the bottom with environment. Your environment, where you live, who you're around, your environment, okay? After your environment, it's going to be based on your behavior. After behavior, skills. And after skills, beliefs. Oops. Beliefs. About, about the world, about others, and about yourself. Beliefs, okay? And so this is going to bring you right through to understand environment, behavior, skills, beliefs, and emotion. When we build up your reality, we want to do it in this particular way. So we're going to spend some time today doing this before we do the recode, is to ask you in your perfect, you know, your absolute reality, what is your environment like? So when you when you're absolutely creating your you know your end result with all of your choices and everything involved in it, where do you live? Where do you live? What sort of home are you in? So where where is it? What is your home? What are the people that are around you? What is your environment like? Where do you live? What's there? Because just changing who you're around or where you are, but also what's your internal environment? This is the food that you're eating, what's actually creating your cells, your internal environment. And so we need to 100% decide on our reality and go, this is what my environment will be like. And you don't have to go, well, well, I don't have that right now. You start building it in your mind. Does that make sense? You start building this up in your mind before it shows up because it can't happen any other way. So I want you to take a little minute right now and I want you just to think, what was my environment? Be like? What sort of people is in my end result in the reality that I'm creating? Where would I love to be living? What would I love to have around me? What's my environment like? Remember, right now, I, I'm living in the Gold Coast, Australia. Beautiful. It's not beautiful at the moment. It's absolutely uh, pouring with rain, but, but beautiful, tropical, amazing. That's what was in my end result. I didn't know that it was going to be here. When I was doing that, I was living in, uh, you know, the, well, actually, when I first started doing it, I was in Brighton in the UK, um, but, you know, which is not this. <laughs> So what sort of environment would you have? What sort of home would you live in? You know, would you have a, a, a big home office like this one that I created, a full studio, so I can just come down here and do videos? Or, or you know, will you be on the beach in a, in a small house? If it would be a rainforest retreat, you know? Uh, so environment, whereabouts is it? What's your home like? What are the people around you? You know, what type of people do you associate with? Yeah, you want a 5K whiteboard? <laughs> What's that? Oh, you want one of these Samsung Flip? Yeah. This is called the Samsung Flip. <laughs> it's very cool. What's the environment? What's your end result environment? Who's around you? What's around you? And I want you to write it down because we're going to do a meditation on this. So just uh, I hope that you've written it down. Number two is behavior. Okay. This is your actions, your day actions. This is your week. This, this is your lenses. 
This is your lenses. What's the behavior? How will, you, how will your day be? You know, how will your day be? What, you know, what would you do in the morning? And, and really, I want you to associate to this, you know. Uh, <laughs> everyone wants to say and some flip by the sound of it. <laughs> what, would be, what would be in uh, your uh, behavior? How would your day be? How would you wake up? You know, would you, would you exercise? Would you, you know, would you be living on a ski resort? Would you go surfing in the morning? Would you, what, what would you do? How, what's your behavior like? How, how is your day going to play out? I think that environment and behavior, the reason why they're at the bottom, is, is that that's so important. You know, what, do you, what are you actually going to do with this gift, this life? What will you actually do? Someone's typed in anything that feels good. Well, th that's like saying, hey, any, just play any music, you know, play all the instruments. The problem is there's no direction with anything that feels good. And so what we're doing is we're, it's, such, it's a true statement, but we're trying to clarify it into what, what we're going to focus on. I'm not saying that we can't change it, but anything that feels good is just coming from a place of default. You know, oh, I just want joy or anything that feels good, you know. When you don't have a, a set tension structure, you'll just get washed into other people. So how would your day be? You know, I, I set my day out. I said, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to have a, a, a you know, Tesla chamber to, to meditate in. And then I'm going to have coffee. And then I'm going to spend the first three hours, you know, no computer. I'm going to be making, creating content. I'm going to be doing these things. I'm going to serve my audience. I'm going to spend time with the leaders. I'm going to exercise, play tennis twice a day. I'm going to do all these things, you know. What is your behavior? When, when I really decided what my ideal average day was, it's, it's probably one of the best things I ever did to say, this is what my average day will be. You know, I'm going to play tennis or meditation, coffee with Harriet. I'll, I'll serve the, the world. I'll, I'll create content. I'll do these things. That will be my day. And it was, um, it, it's, it's a very good thing to do is to guard your your ideal average day, the, the behavior, what you'll actually be able to do and then break it down and go, well, what? how will I carve out this hour uh, and how I carve out the next hour? How will I do that, right? Your ideal average day, not the, you know, not the day that, uh, that you'll get once in a lifetime, but the one that you could live again and again and again and again that you just love, you know, that you just love. And... If you truly go and design it, and I hope you're designing it right now, and you say, this is how my day would be, you know? It is so cool just to have it written down and go, this is how my day would be. But it's also kind of scary. You go, gee, I need more things to do. <laughs> what else am I? Oh, I'll chuck in some reading. <laughs> you know? It's kind of funny. Well, uh, mo most people, when I do this with them, they, they get this place. They go, shoot, what, I don't know what else I would add. Uh, I don't know. Chores. <laughs> <laughs> next one skills next one skills so what skills what things do you need to learn what things do you need to learn what new skills or know-how do you need what skills what know-how do you need what things must you know how to do? Connect to the superconscious, marketing, coaching, leading, leading children, exercise. What know-how will you have? In this new reality that you're creating, what's important for you to know how to do? Build a business, hire a person. Well, what's the know-how that you're going to assimilate to? You see, what, is the, what are all the fun things you would love to know, the, the things that will help you impact? What's the know-how? Because you can either do it or delegate it, right? You can either learn how to do it yourself or learn how to delegate it to others. But there's some things you just want to do and there's some other things that you want to delegate. So what's the know-how of the things you hey, I'd actually like to do that. And I want you to write these down because a lot of what's going to fit in the behavior, you actually can't do it if you don't know how. And I know that's a really simple thing to say, but a lot of people say, oh, I would be running a successful business. And then they, they never really have gone and got the know-how to do that, you see? Yeah, so what's the know-how? Mm. 
many people are already, you know, it, is you can change this, right? So you, this is just you creating the next reality. You're saying, well, I might get bored of this or I might not. Like, that's all right. Right now, let's go create it and let's see. You know, we don't need to go and put. I remember my, my dad uh, told me one time he, we went to Hawaii. Um, who's been to Hawaii, by the way? Who's been to Hawaii? Who's from Hawaii? There's some Hawaii. I went to um, I went to Hawaii and I played basketball over there, and um, we're playing at the World Youth Games. I think I was fourteen years old or something, playing for New Zealand. And um, I remember, you know, we went out one one day. We had a day off and we went out sur- uh, not surfing, body surfing. And um, you know, we were we were just having fun out there. And I was, I was with my dad, and he's like, "Wow, you know, it'd be good to live here." And I was like. Yeah, it would be good to live here, wouldn't it, Dad? He goes, that'd be, be good to live here. And then he looks at me with this big smile on his face and he goes, but if we lived here, where would we go for holidays? <laughs> and I was like, even as a kid, I was like, huh? <laughs> That's some screwed up logic, Dad. What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but do you see, we can say, well, I'd want that, but I'd already be tired of it. You see, he's saying, oh, it'd be nice to live here. But then we were, we already put a problem in it to just diminish us even being able to allow the dream to exist. Uh, does that make sense? So, oh, I'd really like to do this, but I don't really know. Well, let's go do it and see, hey? Let's go try it out because you don't know. Does that make sense? And so it was, it was so funny, you know, I look back, I don't know if you have moments in your life when like it was puzzling to you and then you look back on it as an adult and you're like, oh, that was a really, that was a really naive thing to say, you know, like, like, uh, like you, you already have it. He didn't always say bad stuff, actually, you know, just to defend my dad at the same time here, he had this other saying, he, he reckons he could never remember saying this to me, but I was learning to swim. I must have been four years old or something. And he goes, son, it doesn't matter how deep the water is, you swim across the top of it. And I remember as a kid being like, yeah, it absolutely bloody matters, Dad, because you can't stand up if it's deeper. <laughs> you know. But that metaphor came kind of a life metaphor for me. I was like, oh, it doesn't matter how big you go, you just stay on top of it. <laughs> I was like, don't you remember saying that? He's like, no, my, it's my earliest memory. <laughs> okay, so um, skills. So they have the right skills, but, but don't, uh, you know, don't put, put into the, the end result uh, already predisposed uh, limitations. I might not have. Just, oh, that'd be cool. All right, beliefs. Beliefs. So in this reality... What would you like to believe about the world? Like, what do you believe about the world? You know, like one of my beliefs about the world is it's what, it's what you make it. The world is what you make it. You know, it's, it's what you make it. You can make it into misery. You can make it into beauty. But what would you like to believe about the world? I used to believe the world is a hard place and you've got to fight for your position. What, are you, what would you believe uh, about the world, you know? What, we, what will your beliefs be in this, you know? The world is this. What is the world? Because see, I was, I was talking to William Whitecloud this morning and um, we're having a laugh because there's a, there's a group of people that get attracted to both his and my work that um, uh, always know the most fashionable conspiracy theory. And it's like they have a, uh, a place in their world that says, I only exist to be annoyed at the latest conspiracy. And we were having a chuckle at it today because, you know, Monsanto gets replaced by COVID, gets replaced by <laughs> Illuminati, gets replaced by Joe Biden or Trump or whichever so he gets replaced. With. But they always have something that's really bad always and they're always just unhappy. And we're having a bit of a chuckle and we were sort of saying, you know, isn't it interesting that their worldview is that there is something out to get them always and they always got to find the next one. Do you guys know these people? You met them? Uh, they always got to find the next thing instead of just going, oh, yeah, the, the tap water is terrible and just putting a filter on every single tap like I have, put a filter on my shower, they just get really mad that everyone else in society wants to have fluoride in their water. You know, instead of just buying organic, they just, they just get really mad. Instead of this, they, they choose to just be mad at it. 
You see, and and, and it's uh, and, and you know what? They're probably right. That's not the uh, that's not the point. The point is is that their whole worldview is based on how there's something attacking them. True. There's some, There's always something. There's always something, and it's not the pharmaceuticals, and it's the the, the, the IRS, if it's not the IRS, then it's this, it's Monsanto, it's it's Gates, it's it's people stealing children. There's always something, and they, you know, and they, they literally have different ones. Anyway, my point is, is what are you going to believe about the world? Because what you believe about the world, you'll simply find. You'll simply find more of it, you know. You'll simply find more. You will. Make sense? So what would you believe uh, about, uh, about the world when it's, uh, when it's there? What would you believe when you're there? Okay, so the next one, the next one is what would you believe about others? And your new reality, what are you going to believe about others? What are you going to believe about others? You know, one thing I believe about others is, is everyone's having their own human experience. And sometimes they're, they're doing things that serve them and me, and sometimes they're doing things that don't serve them and me. I just believe that. Many people want to have a belief like everyone's good always. Everyone's got my best interest in heart always. That's not true. And then another one is everyone's bad always. That's not true. But it's not up for me to tell you what you think is true. It's it's what do you, what would you believe about others in this uh in this reality, what would you believe? And then lastly, what are you going to believe about you? That's Aparajita, that's what you're going to believe in your perfect reality? <laughs> I don't know if that's the reality that you want to create, your perfect reality. What would you believe about others? You know? So what do you believe about yourself? I don't know, Lisa, it didn't happen to me. <laughs> you tell me, <laughs> what if? So what would you believe, um, you know, what would you believe about you? Hmm. And then the, the last is, the last is what are your emotions? I just put an E here for emotions, but I'll, emotions. So what emotions will you live from? Courage, focus, passion, enjoyment. And, and so this is a beautiful way to kind of start to build your reality up. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little meditation just to step into this and to start experiencing the environment, the behavior, your day, the skills that you have, your abilities, your beliefs and your emotions so that you can live it before it starts to live. Does that make sense that you're there? Because you're going to walk into that reality at some point, but you'll only walk into it when you're completely in alignment with it and you've already experienced it so many times that when it shows up in this third dimension, this, this third plane, You'll go, oh, great. This is what I've been tuning into for so long. And so it's a great way to start building this mental model up in your mind and starting to become so familiar with it. So familiar. So I'll just grab my chair and uh, we'll do a bit of a meditation on this. Does that sound good? Yeah, beliefs are right at the top, guys. Beliefs and emotions are right at the top because structure and where you actually are living, what you're actually doing and your skills, you have to change a lot, you see, to get the exact same movement. 
So the reason why it's at the top, if you want to move from here to here, look how much you have to do in your environment to move. But if you change it at the emotional level, it's such a small change, you see? So it's to show that the fastest way to make the change is up the top. Does that make sense? Fastest way to make the change is up the top. Yeah, Charles, got it. I'll just send that across to people. Awesome. Uh, Charles, you're just typing into me. Do you want to send in your email or your phone number so we can find you easy? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to close our my eyes, close our mind. We're going to close our eyes, uh, go into our mind, and we're going to step into that. We're going to step into it, and uh, and once we we step into it, we're going to build that up um, in our in our mind and experience it fully. So does everyone have it written down? Thanks, Kathy. Everyone got it written down? Yeah, it's video day for me today. Got to be looking on point. All right, cool. So when you're ready, just, just get ready to really become familiar with this, okay? We're going to go into it. We're going to experience it. So when you're ready, just go ahead and close your eyes. Just close your eyes and allow all the learnings from this small session so far to kind of just grow roots in your mind and just breathe in nice and slow and just connect to yourself for a second. Just allow yourself to notice where you are, feeling good, feeling relaxed, have a few big breaths. And then just choose. Choose this new reality. I choose to live my dream reality and choose it. And as soon as you say those words in your mind, you magically are going to step into this new reality. In your mind, building this up. We'll start at the bottom. What environment do you live in? What is around you? Where do you live? Imagine you're standing in that perfect environment with the perfect people. You might not see faces. You just know they're there. What do you see, feel, hear? What is it like? Allow it to be true. And just breathe it in. How good does it feel? And now expand that with the next breath into your perfect day. All the behaviors, the actions you'll be doing. In your mind, play the movie of your perfect day and experience it. What are all the things you will do with all the people, mm, the places you'll visit? Do your best to experience your perfect day. What are all the new skills? What are all the things you'll know how to do? What is all the know-how you'll have? What are your beliefs? 
In this end result, what do you believe about the world? What do you believe about the world? What do you believe about others? What do you believe about yourself? And finally, how does it feel? Allow yourself to notice how it feels. Keeping your eyes closed, notice how it feels. I want you to imagine this whole moment has been taken as a snapshot and is projected on an LCD TV in front of you. Just imagine that you're looking at yourself in the perfect reality. Can you imagine, do the best you can, imagine that you're looking at an LCD TV, a flat screen TV with this end result on it and you can see it and feel proud of it. As you're looking at that, this TV, there is a dial underneath the TV that you can turn up and the dial is marked feeling. I want you to start turning up all the emotion, the feeling and intensify it. Right now, whatever you're feeling about this end result is a one. And take some big breaths. And with each breath, I want you to turn that dial up. The more you feel this, the more you allow yourself to turn the feeling up from a one to a two, a two to a three. Turn the feeling up, expanding the feeling, allowing it to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Turn the feeling right up to a four, five, six, nearly like there's fireworks coming out the top of your head and a big blue fireworks bubbling themselves, shooting themselves out from you, filling up the whole room with light to seven, eight, turning it right up, feeling so good all the way up to a 10 and grab hold of this picture in your mind and as you do, step back into it, back into it and experience it all fully. Acknowledge that it's done. Acknowledge that it's yours. Have a few big breaths. Have a good look around. Know this is you. And when you're ready, you can have one last look around and come on back. Open your eyes and let me know how it was to get to know your future. Oh, love this. Love it. Let's go. Let's do it. Open your eyes and come on back. Who's ready? Who's ready? See, getting in alignment, alignment for you, alignment with exactly what it is. Yes. You become it when it shows up. You are expecting it. Mm. Feels so good. Many of you just want to stay in that vibe. Feel the vibe. Feel where you're at. So now that it's done on one aspect of the plane, now we've got to make it happen on this reality. Creation's always in two places, the invisible, the visible. Very nice.
So what do you need to do this week today? What is the next obvious action that you need to take to move towards creating that? What is the next action you must take? I want you to write it down. What is the, what is the obvious thing you must do? What is the next thing you must do? You already are it. You've already, you're there. And now we bring it in. Now we bring it in. We want to, we're going to experience it again. We're going to experience it in this reality. So what is the obvious next action? The obvious thing when you come down here, what needs to happen? Even though you're up here vibing here, what needs to happen next? Get clients, start my program. Cool. What is the next big thing that you need to you need to address? You need to go for. So I want to ask you what is in the way of your next action? What is stopping you take that action? What is stopping you? You might, that might be needed. What is stopping you? Now, but what's in the, what's in the way of the action that you can take to create that? So I want to know about the action. So a lot of people are talking about the next end result. What's the next action that you must do? What's, what's the next action? What must you do? What's the next behavior? What must you do? And then what's in the way of that? Is there anything in the way of that? What current emotions, what current beliefs, what come, current stories, what current resistance is in the way of you taking the next action. What's in the way? What's in the way of the next action? So we can't solve for everything. All we can solve for is the next action that's right here in front of us. And what's in the way of that? And if there's something in the way, we should move that so we can take the action. Mm -hmm.